Hello everyone, I'm Sam with ExtraDuty Solutions, here to talk about some of the features and capabilities of the new Responder app. First things first, is you're going to want to install the app. On iPhone, go to the App Store. On Android, go to the Play Store and search Responder app. Then find the app in the list. Once you see it, just tap Install and you're ready to get started. After installing the app and logging in, you'll be greeted by the timeline. The timeline provides a summary of all of your job activity. Whether you're searching for jobs in the future, checking in or out of jobs, or reviewing jobs you've already worked in the past, Responder app makes it all accessible from one screen. The timeline uses icons to make managing your schedule super simple. These are unverified jobs. They're jobs that have been assigned but still require a check-in or out. Scheduled jobs are assigned jobs that have not yet ended. Work jobs have been checked in and out of. Earnings provides more information about payment details on a worked job. Available jobs are available for extra duty, either as first come, first serve, or requestable jobs. These are requested jobs. They're jobs that you've requested but not yet been assigned to. Searching for jobs is super easy with Responder. If I'm on the timeline, I can just pinch to zoom in or zoom out and scroll up and down to find a time frame I'm interested in. Once I do, I can tap the search bubble and a list of jobs will appear for that time frame. If I want to search by keyword, I can tap the bottom left search icon. From there, I can enter a job name, for example, and add filters to tune my search to exactly the list I'm looking for. After that, I can save those filters and run that search at any time. Taking a job can be done in three easy steps. First, find the job you want and tap Take. Then tap Take this job to confirm. Now you've successfully taken a job. It's that simple. Jobs can be requested individually or altogether. Once you've found a list of available jobs to look at, you can individually request a job by tapping Request. If you like all the jobs in the list, just tap Request All to do so. Once you've requested all the jobs you're interested in, you can review them in the timeline by clicking the clock icon. If your schedule changes and you're no longer able to commit to a job you've already taken, you can either transfer the job or give it up. On the timeline, tap the red Scheduled Jobs icon to find the job you'd like to give up or transfer. Then tap it. Tap the three dots at the bottom right of the screen to see all your options. Now you can either give up the job entirely by tapping Give Up, otherwise you can tap Transfer to transfer the job. Keep in mind that transfer rules are agency specific and subject to change. If you've requested a job and you're no longer able to work it, canceling is super simple. Tap on the clock icon in your timeline to see the list for that time frame. Then find the job you'd like to cancel and tap it. Now simply tap cancel and you're good to go. To ensure you're accurately tracking your hours, you'll need to make sure you're checking in and out of your job. You'll notice a flashing banner at the top of the screen reminding you to check in or out. Tap the banner to view the job, then tap check in or out to begin. Next, you'll be prompted to fill out your check-in time, check-out time, and provide more details about the job you've worked. When you've completed filling out this form, tap complete to finish checking in or out. Another useful feature in the Responder app is our filtering feature. These filters allow you to customize any job search. To do this, you'll tap the search icon at the bottom of the screen, then tap the filter icon at the top left. From there, your five filter options will appear, including job taken and requested, detail type, contactor name, day of the week, and job name. Once you've set your preferences, you can even save filters with just a tap, making searching for jobs quick and easy. Pro tip, if you already know the month or date range you're searching for, pinch and zoom to that time frame, then tap the blue search icon, and you can set your filters from there. To customize your notification settings and view your basic information, tap the profile icon on the bottom right. From there, hit Info and Preferences. You'll be taken to a screen where you can edit your notification settings, for example, setting email notifications, text notifications, or app notifications. From here, you can also adjust your basic information like your phone number, address, and more. In the Profile section, you can customize your schedule based on your needs by tapping Manage Availability. You can also prioritize your requested jobs or access any other agency-specific features. 
Getting in-app live support has never been easier. Just tap the feedback icon and you'll be taken to a screen where you can add a title and a description of your feedback. Responder will automatically include a screenshot. So whether you're having trouble with a job assignment or simply have a suggestion on how we can improve the app, just tap send and your feedback is on the way. Thanks for watching. Remember, with the Responder app by Extra Duty Solutions, organizing and managing your extra duty scheduling needs is just a tap away.